I'm wrong. Hey, Instagram. Let's see who comes on, shall we? How are you all? If you're watching this on playback. How's your week been so far? It's only Tuesday, obviously, but... What have you done on the weekend? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I love hearing what you guys have been up to. I keep this one short and sweet tonight, as it's only Instagram on Tuesdays. And then tomorrow I'll do a Facebook live one. Um, I did have a couple of questions. Um, someone asked me earlier what it said on my T-shirt. Um, and I don't know if I've answered this before, but it says I-S-Y-M-F-S, -S, which stands for, and I apologise for swearing, but it's one of those things, it's still your motherfucking set, which means, well, the best person to explain it is the guy who made it, um, who a guy called C.T. Fletcher who's a old powerlifting guy, a guy with a massive beard from America. He's had, like, triple heart bypasses and all sorts of stuff. And he just can't be killed. He just is that mentality of, it's still your set, basically. It's still your motherfucking set. Um, You've still got more in you. You know, you can still push through. And I kind of took a shine to it when... Uh, I first heard about CT in 2016, I think, uh, when I just, I literally just had my car accident and uh, I came across CT Fletcher on YouTube. You can look him up, he swears a lot. Um, and a lot of cursing and all this sort of stuff, but it inspired me and how do I put it? made me realise things weren't that bad and I could keep pushing on and pushing on and it gave me that drive a bit. Um, so that's what, that's why I wear this. Uh, well, I just like the t-shirt, but I, uh, I always used to love watching his videos with like the training and stuff where he'd, he'd just be, again, it doesn't work for everyone, but he'd just be like screaming at them going, you've still got one more rep, one more rep, let's go, let's go. Obviously it doesn't work for everyone, but it does for some, and he's even got an app. And I used to listen to him like already his, uh, his songs, like on his album, um, in my ear while I was while I was in the gym. And you've got him screaming in your ear. You actually you do work hard. <laughs> um, so, hey everyone. Uh, M says, "Why are you sat on the floor?" I just wanted to mix it up a bit. Just wanted to mix it up a bit. I'm normally sat on the bed. Or at my desk. Um, it's been a while since I've sat on the floor. When I first started doing lives, uh, before I moved here, I was on the floor. I don't know if you remember. If you remember that way back. Uh, morning, Alex. Hey, Tamara. So we're eight p.m. ish. So you'll be about eight nine a.m. in Australia. I'm guessing. Um. So yeah, that's what the that's what the t shirt was. Um another question. Uh what made you what made you what made you do the mile and a half run, the press ups and the sit ups on Monday? Um so basically I've actually had a bit of a rest day today. The last two, three days I was battering my body about a bit. Um Oh, 7 a.m., sorry, my bad. Um, so, the the mile and a half, uh, well, they used to call the PFA in the army, so the well, personal fitness assessment, I guess. Uh, physical fitness assessment, whatever. Um, I can't remember what it stands for. Um and basically you do a, a mile and a half as quick as you can 
two minutes of press-ups, two minutes of sit-ups. They've changed it now. It's all different now. It's, it's actually less. You do uh, a two k a two kilometer run, um, which is about one point two, one point three miles instead, slightly shorter, and you do with some other stuff like some uh, essentially like deadlifts and things like that. Um, but yeah, that was a constant that I always I was always good at, and I always did, and I always did, and smashed myself to bits with. Um, I didn't do a very good run time this on Monday, but it's been a very long time since I did it. And I was looking, I was trying to look back. I don't remember the last time I did a mile and a half. Um, obviously, six years ago, I was doing them. But I've aged a lot. I'm a lot he I'm a heavier now than I was then. Uh, I haven't been running so much and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, first one, just to get it out of the way, just to do it. So the next time I do it, probably next Monday, I'll get more sit-ups and I'll get more press-ups and I'll get a faster run time. Um, I kind of did it worst case scenario as well, uh, which I don't advise for people, but I did it on an empty stomach. It was about three degrees outside. It was pretty cold. I did it around Abbey Park, so it's hills up and down and up and down. Um, and I measure out the exact distance um, because Abington Park is slightly bigger. Um, but yeah, it was just getting around it basically. And that just shouldn't sound hard to someone that's done it a million times, <laughs> but when you haven't done it in so long and you've been focusing on other stuff and strength stuff and things like this, the cardio aspect just drops. I mean, you don't do enough cardio in like two weeks, it drops. So yeah. And I've been eating a lot, eating, drinking a lot lately and things like that. So, um, yeah, that was why. Um, I don't think they'd re I don't think they'd let me back in the army with my injury anyway. But um, it was just good to just good to get that back under my belt. Um, and we'll see. Hopefully, I'm going to try and do it every week, um, and then do other stuff. So I did a I did a tab of again same thing I did uh, on Sunday. I did a tab, which is a uh, essentially. You've got a burger on your back, or a, like a big imagine like a big rucksack, and or just a loaded march they call it. So you've got to cover a certain amount of distance, or a certain amount of time, or whatever it might be, uh, with a certain amount of weight. Um, and again, I've got to build it up. You can't just jump straight back in. Like if I put the weight on my back that like I used to do, I probably would have died. But um, so I've got to build it up slowly. Um, and that's how you, so you don't get injuries, that's things like that. Um, but it's progression. It's a good. It keeps me interested as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing that a lot more as well. Um, I did mention it a while back uh, when I first when I got these uh, when I replaced my Altbergs for new ones because I really rate these. They look like a massive crow bag wearing them, uh, but I really rate I really rate Altbergs. Um, I think they're brilliant. I've tried lots of boots tried other things and they're not as good as them uh they're what they issue now apart uh instead of the old black ones it used to be like dr martins they're awful um but yeah so i did that it was only like a two three miler or something um and i had about what was it it was about, I think it worked out with the water, I think it worked out about 12 kilos, so nothing, not super heavy. You know, nowhere near like 35 kilos or whatever I've done before. Um, but again, it's gradual, so I've got to build it up and I've got to be patient. I can't just jump. I don't, well, I could just, I don't want to jump straight back in and do the heavier weight because I want to. I want to string it out a bit, if that makes sense. I've not really got, I've not got an event I'm you know, I've got a deadline for, and I want to enjoy it. Um, I used to do, I used to regularly tab uh, eight miles most days uh, around here and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I had a thought about, while I was doing it, I had a little thought about it as well, because you, how do I explain it? It's like a hike, but a speed march. Um, so like your fast striding 
uh, and then you run, and then, well, you do bits and bobs, but um, I think, I don't know yet, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I could. Um, I'm going to recreate the Royal Marines Commando 30 miler. I need to find out exactly, I think it's they've got an eight hour, t eight hour time limit and they're carrying 15 pounds on their back, which is like fighting order. Um, which is like a rifle and some webbing, but obviously I don't have a rifle. Um, apart from an air rifle, but I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to recreate the weight. And then 30 miler, I think that would be, that'd be savage. Um, yeah, why not? Again, why not? Um, again, I'm going to build up to it. It will be a, little, it'll be a while before I do that. Probably nearer summer. Because I don't want to injure myself. Um, like I say... It's just, I'm just more happy to get active. Um, so, hey everyone that's just joining. Uh, can you, oh, can you have good cardio as well as strength? Or will one cancel the other out? I did that run today. <laughs> no, you can have them. Um, you can have both. You can have both. Um, obviously, it depends what you prioritise. So... That was my stomach grumbling, I think. Apologies. Um, you can have both. A good mix of both is ideal. Um, if you focus on one, and the other one will suffer. But that's just the way it goes. If you start doing loads of strength, you know, gaining loads of muscle and things like this, um, which, again, is hard, um, putting in the calories, taking on the water weight and all that sort of stuff, like me, I've... Uh, probably, I'm probably four or five kilos heavier than the last time I was running. So, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. Um, I love Abbey Park Run. Yeah, it's just different, isn't it? Um, and I've done it again, I've done it in lots of different weathers. Different. It's just a constant I like using uh, because it's never going to change. You know, um, and again, like the outdated army test that I do, I know that Two minutes are never going to change. I know that the movement's not going to change because it's the same movement. Yes, you might have a bit of a different range of motion or you might not come down as far on the press-ups or things like that. But trying to keep the constant variables. as much, I say this all the time with everything. Constant variables as much as you can, like a robot. Uh, they would make me look intimidating. What's that? Was that the boots, you mean? Make you look intimidating. Hey, it's just joining. Um, sounds like you just set yourself a goal slash challenge. Yeah, right, live on video. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a 30 miler, 30 miler and eight, under eight hours. I'll have to look it up. Um, and it's arduous sort of terrain from what I've, what I've read. Um, you know, I mean, it's I'm not probably not going to recreate the terrain, but doesn't mean I can't rack the miles up, right? And again, I don't, I wouldn't actually recommend tabbing for just any old person, uh, old any any person. Um, it's very specific to military stuff, but and it will wear your knees out. It will. You know, your legs are burning, your lungs are burning. It's just, I've always found it is super hard, um, especially when there's a troop of you. And I'm, you know, I'm not the tallest. Like five, nine, five, eight and a half, I think now. I don't know. I, I've got a bit short when I get injured. Um, and my legs aren't that long. So trying to keep up with the, the guys that are like six, two, and they're just their stride is a lot longer um yeah it was always really fucking hard mentally hard as well um you get used to it though same as anything that's why i'm building it up gradually um again it's just one of those things like i say it's not a necessity not a necessity i could quite happily not do it but you know you know you've worked hard when you do it put it that way um, 
Hey Craig, nice to meet you the other day. Thanks for joining my live. These are just uh, little ramblings. Um, I'm sure I'll probably see you next Saturday or this Saturday if they're doing it again. The uh, the study group thing. Um, Bianca, Larry, hi everyone. So if you've got questions, guys, hit me up. I'm gonna do this for another about another thirteen minutes, and then I'm gonna go and get some more food, and I'm probably gonna. I'm probably going to go out and get some steps because I've done about half of what I need to. I left it pretty late, but I've been busy today, so. No excuse, really, but I have been doing a lot. Um, any more questions? Uh, I did have a few, like I say. Uh, Are you gonna get your sign? Are you gonna get sign writing on your van? Um, probably, probably. Um, I've got a little little van. Um, I probably will at some point. But again, that's just extra money, isn't it, that to spend? Um, sign writing vans can either help you or not. It will help you in the advertising side of things. But then, if someone sees all of that written on the side of my van and then they then can take a guess at what's in it um i mean people are breaking into vans and stuff at the moment anyway but and it might deter them because they might think oh there's no power tools or anything in there it's just a bunch of old sweaty boxing gloves or whatever um or they might think oh fitness equipment's really expensive at the moment let's see if he's got any in the van and i don't keep stuff in the van but they don't know that um uh, Angela, we we might I might get you to try a bit of tabbing, but again, it's gonna that's gonna conflict with your goals, so possibly not. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll do it. Um, maybe like after after your basketball season, maybe. I don't want that to screw things up, uh, and then I say putting extra weight on that if that knee is still a bit weak that's gonna it's gonna blow your knee out it's gonna fuck you up um so yeah very counterproductive um oh just feeling a little lost not gonna lie like i don't have any goals i've set a little goal to do fifteen thousand steps a week and make a good a good diary but last week oh a food diary is that um Last week I gave you pounds a little bit, not gonna lie. Um what goals can I set weight loss wise? My birthday, six in the gym, what can I weight wise? So, um are you just weighing yourself? Are you just using the scales? Because that's enough to demotivate anyone. Three pound a gain, um again, I've said it a million times, I don't know where you are in your like female cycles as I put it um you know depending on what phase you're in you can gain eight pounds just like that without realizing you know you get all bloated and, and that's not your fault that's just hormones and shark week as they call it um and that's why that's why measurements like body measurements are, are really good because I've probably repeated myself a million times over but the scale doesn't tell you the whole picture. I could drink, and I've done it before I did a video on it, I could drink this, I could drink that, if that was full, I could drink that and gain, so that's one point, what's that, 1.6 litre, one point ish, about a litre and a half, I could gain a kilo and a half of weight just by drinking that and going standard on the scale and three pounds so one kilo is 2.2 pounds to get to give you a bit of a, a better idea so yeah that would be that that's what you've gained that's what you've gained a kilo and a half pretty much um again it will fluctuate it will fluctuate all the time so uh, 
14 stone, 7 pounds. Yeah, um, again, the food diary is it's about setting little goals that are achievable. And then once you've completed, it's like a to-do list. If, if, if you've ever done a to-do list, you do small little goals, right? Make the bed, hoover, take the bins out. I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, whatever it is. Excuse me, we've got the hiccups. Um, whatever it is. And it's like, ah, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. I do it every day with stuff. Um, and it really works. Because once I've completed one, I'm like, right. The game is on. I'm going to complete some more. I'm going to do it. I'll keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And one goal, one completed task, turns into six. And then, like, and you can do that with the like the, the weight loss, fat loss stuff. So, don't. You know. Want you know focus on one kilo at a time or. Stone or you know a few pounds or whatever you're working in, um, you don't just go right. I want to lose seven stone. You don't just jump. You've got to, you do, bite sized chunks. If that makes sense. Um, I'm always with weird analogies. Um, so you don't, yeah, you can't climb the stairs jumping straight from the bottom to the top, can you? You have to take each individual step. And some of you smart asses are going to be like, well, you can jump up four steps at a time. Whatever. You know what I mean. Um, yeah. I'd be patient as well, but... I mean, by all means, inbox me because we can have a look at it. But um, there might be certain things that you're, without sounding horrible, self-sabotaging with. Um, you might not be tracking things very well. You might, if you're doing just a food diary, you might need to be more specific. Um, again, one step at a time, you know, it's, you could go flat out and do loads and loads of bits and then... It's unachievable, if that makes sense. And so you're setting yourself up to failure almost. Um, Katie, obviously, I mean, you're taking a major step back from fitness and I'm back to the tablets. What else will stop me from losing my shit again without burning myself out? Um, giving yourself some time off. Even if it's just an hour here and there. Um, I started implementing it. You know, I, again, I'm the biggest culprit for it um not having any me time just being able to channel things like i sat there the other day uh, i can't remember who i was talking to but i was like i don't have any hobbies anymore i used to do so much stuff i used to do photography i used to skateboard i used to draw i used to read books i used to play the playstation i used to write i used to write loads of stuff i used to write all sorts of things um dot journal and also all sorts of stuff um make things with wood and, and i don't do any of that now i just talk about fitness and it's boring to people that aren't into fitness i guess i don't want to just be about that so try and implement easier said than done but try and separate work from home life or your personal life, as, as I should say. Um, then you'll be more chilled out. You know, there are other, there are things, there are meditation apps, there are YouTube videos, like yoga stuff, there's mindset stuff, you can start reading more books, listening to audio books, podcasts, some really good stuff out there. Um, I love listening to a podcast or an audio book. And normally, whenever I'm walking or whatever, I'm taking in new information, I'm always trying to learn new stuff, um, and it, sometimes it'll be completely random, sometimes if I try and learn too much about fitness stuff, it makes me feel like work, so uh, I'm listening to, I've got a couple of uh, World War, I think they're both World War Two audio books at the moment, and it's com so it's completely switches off my PT brain. Do you know what I mean? If that hopefully that makes sense. Um, hey Ben, hope you like your new car. That looked lush. That did. Um, 
one of my clients has got exactly the same car in the same colour. <laughs> oh no, it, it did have that one. They went for a grey one. They used to have the blue one. Um, just because I'm major busy with work. Yeah, again, it can be while you're driving. You could be listening to a calming podcast or something. You know, there's there's a million different things you've got to find out what you like. Um, what I like listening to won't be what you like listening to or doing with my spare time won't be what you, you know, so it's different. Um, also, getting enough, make sure you've got enough food in you because I know you, you're super busy and you don't always eat and you'll go ages without eating and drinking and stuff so that's going to make you feel ratty and that's going to make you flip out more so that like i said to you earlier um that's the basis of it if i don't eat i get hangry i get ratty as anything um sounds like my work week to-do list yeah good 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 hey people that are just joining in uh When you do incline sprints, is it about the incline of the hill rather than how far up you can get the hill? Because the hills park are okay, but the incline is not that great. Thanks. Depends on the hill. Um, again, it's... You know... Newton's laws come into it. So, like, the steeper the gradient, the harder it's going to be. Um, you could go faster up a less steep gradient. You could do it more times. You could do it more frequently. Lots of ways to... There's lots of ways to make things harder. Um, but normally a mix of... A good mix of lots of them. That's what I would say. Um, because you don't want to just train in one environment. Um, again, if it's specific, depends what you're training for, but, uh, you know, if you're trying to be a, if you're training for like a strongman competition, sprint, hill sprints aren't going to do you much good. Um, well, well, they're not going to be easy, put it that way. Um. I never have time for hobbies. Yeah, again, that's what I mean. So imp implementing bits where you can and giving yourself that dedicated time. Like I have to book myself into my calendar to, to work out because otherwise I just won't uh, because I've got too much work stuff to do or there's other stuff that I could be doing. And, and it seems whenever I'm actually working out, again, why I implement the two phones thing, you know, I'm not a drug dealer. I don't, you know, I need two phones because one has Instagram on it and all my social media and all my work stuff. The other one doesn't. Or like, I uninstalled it. Like, so I, if I need it, I can play music off of it. I can make notes on it if I need to or use it for my heart rate monitor and things like that. Um, and I don't get distracted. That's the, that's the idea anyway. Um, hey, Donna. Uh, I just feel like I have the weight on my shoulders. You could listen whilst you're driving between clients, Katie. I could be dreading the phone. Yeah, again, um, if your phone is charging in your car, that I've said to you before, get a phone charger because you're driving here, there, and everywhere. Um, I just I don't want to keep repeating the same things because you'll think I'm having a go at you. But having a phone charger on you, food in the car, things like that, have these five minute breaks here and there um you know you could be doing bits and bobs you could be eating more you could be yeah um it's just setting yourself little routines and little habits or setting yourself an alarm to say ha ah, right drink half a liter of water or what you know things like that uh, i'm not a fan of calming apps they annoy me do you have a plug-in car app to plug in? Yeah, see, there you go. Keep phone charged. I do it, my phone doesn't fit it. Again, these are silly little things that you can you can fix. Um, 
you don't need to make big problems out of little things. Um, they're easily easily remediable. Uh, my three-year-old just walked in my bedroom, heard your voice and said, Morning, Alex. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Is that because I have a weird robotic English voice? Uh, I need to come off this. I feel like... Okay, well, have a good night. I mean, like I say, just what we what we've spoke about before. I don't want to say it in the, on a live video, but yeah, just implement those things, and you'll be okay. Um, Reg has a question. He said, "How does sleep impact recovery slash progress?" Well, ironic, because he is a baby. I don't know how he actually asked you that, but or asked me that. Um, sleep has a massive, massive impact on it. Um, like the other night, I had like two, between two and four hours of sleep, because I woke up in the middle of it. Um, but I just couldn't sleep for some reason, like stress or I don't know what, but and so Monday, Monday, I was running off of two, three, four hours sleep. I was drained, absolutely drained. So yes, it does. Hydration is another one. Again, lots of things. But the more and more we go over our, our checking sheets, you'll, you'll start to realise that. Obviously, easier said than done with a, a new baby. Um, not going to be a strong woman. It's a sports position. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, he's got a new studio voice. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to can it there, guys. Thank you for coming on, though. Um, if you've made it this, if you're watching this on playback and you've made it this far, well done. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Um, don't forget, guys. I've got the battle group on Facebook. Six ninety nine a month. I'm st I'm trying to put stuff in there all the time. I'm about to upload some more stuff in there. Um. Screw it, I'm going to do that tomorrow now. Again, implementing my time. Do as you say, do as I say, not as I do kind of stuff. But I've got to walk the walk as well. Um, he isn't new, there's no excuse for it now. Well, he's, he's fairly new, isn't he? Uh, I was like that last week. Made me feel totally mind-blown and fuzzy because of lack of sleep. Yeah. Again, a lot of people have noticed it at the beginning of lockdowns and stuff like that where people's sleep patterns and stuff like that, work routines and stuff were all screwed um off to school and have a great on alex yeah no that's cool i'm gonna go and get some more steps get some food shower bed because i'm up at 5 a.m so i'll catch you guys later